Good day guys, this is our third year design project, which is a SuperCat based torch. I'm Ivar Manila, together with my group members. I'm Peshawar Blondi, and I'm Kaya Fashion This is our system block diagram, which includes a power supply, supercapacitor, and discharging circuit into our two LEDs. Our power supply is at 2.5 volts at a rated current of 6 amps. Our supercapacitor is a 400 farad at a rated voltage of 2.5 volts. And our output comprises of two white LEDs, each with 70 milliwatts. This is our project specifications and constraints. It shows required versus actual obtained values. Our charging time, the required maximum was 2 minutes. Our obtained was 1 minute 40. We required two brightness levels, full brightness and half brightness. Both were obtained using a PWM. The full brightness constraint. Our torch was required to hold the full brightness for three minutes. We obtained a maximum of six minutes. A housing was required, which was an albeit prototype, but we weren't able to get this far and the entire project was simulated well on a breadboard. Protection of the supercapacitor. To protect the supercapacitor to 2.4 volt, Zener diodes were connected parallel to the positive and negative terminals of the supercapacitor. The second diagram shows the charging system. The charging system comprises of a comparator, a transistor, and a relay. The comparator is used to compare the voltage from the supercapacitor to the rated voltage, which is said to be 2.5 volts. The transistor is used to amplify the current that comes from the comparator to the relay. The relay is used as a switch as it helps to stop the charging and initiate the charging. The LED in the system is used as a user interface so that the user is capable of seeing whether the supercapacitor is fully charged or not. We are using the boost converter to power on the microcontroller and the LEDs. So we need to keep the output voltage to a constant of five volts. So we use the PWM to control the output voltage. So what we do, we set the jet cycle to 20% initially, which gives us the output of five volts. And then after that, we have to measure the, the output voltage and then we need to adjust it to a five volts. So we compare it with the, the output voltage, we compare it with five volts. If it's less than five volts, we have to decrease the, we have to increase the jet cycles. If it's greater than five volts, we have to decrease the energy cycle so that the output voltage is kept constant at 5 volts. Here we are using the Arduino microcontroller to control the light intensity of the LEDs. And then with the Arduino, we know we create the PWM. Initially, we set the duty cycle to 50%, which is half brightness. And then after that, we measure the voltage across the switch. When the voltage across the switch, is five volts, we change the, the duty cycle to 100%, which means is the full brightness. Else we have to keep the, LED, the brightness of the LED to half duty cycles.